we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed we are reducing Christianity to what we eat and where so we always go to church it is about money it is about power it is about how to be at the top not the tail this is this is not why God has called us. In today's day, I'm sorry. I'm 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 not even sick. I'm on an ass. I'm just a day. I'm being young. I'm being a Christian. I'm being a Ketua. We, I'm not even a fan. I'm not even thinking about the phrase. So we are looking for the power of God to change our situation. In today's day, if you want me to meet someone, I'm not even a scientist. I'm a woman. We have said that we don't have to reduce Christianity to superstition and calendar. You did Kenya case Christosum and says you born as a Yidia and you are so new and as a Emre any in fear and Abusumibi. So when you are talking about reposition the heart, we are talking about taking pleasure in God Himself. Tia case ye shaya kuma ding ana ye di jine ya ene se ye nibe ka euradi ankasa ho. To the extent that He is your priority and pursuit. Ah, kusi se ono ena ye ni dano soa ye nyano a ye ntu mi nina kwa. Now He is your fear and delight. Ono ena ye ni jine ho ono so ena di a yisuru ye. That is why the psalmist said that my soul followed hard after thee. We said last week that most people's idea about God is just some hearsay. Now they do not have personal relationship with God. Now some people, some do not think that God is knowable. But Jesus showed us by example that God can be related to and that God is knowable. Now, just as we apprehend the physical world by the faculties we possess, so imagine the same way when we were born again, God has given us spiritual faculties by which we can also navigate into the spirit world. When we became sons, he gave us his spirit, the Holy Spirit that will, that will connect us to God. Now we want to invite you to taste and see that the Lord is good. I'll continue this evening by discussing one or two people as one old man and another old lady. Me to a sui, ye be bomo de edin komo afani pa be ndu bi ho ba ko e ya kokra na ba ko nso ye abrewa. I'm interested in the experience with God. Nya me ni a chira so pa no any won sui ehuna won nya free onya me ho. See, I will talk of I'll start with Simeon. Me the Simeon e be sha see. Simeon. See the Jews regarded their own nation as the chosen people. They actually believed in themselves. See, during Jesus' time, for example, by far, the greater number of them believed, despite the situation that they were in, that they were bound someday to become masters of the world. And laws of all nations. Okay. See, they were they thought that they were bound someday to become masters of the world and laws of all nations. So to bring in that day, some believed that. Some great celestial champion would descend upon the earth and then bring that kind of liberation. Some believed that 
some of them also believe that there will rise another king like David and all the glories that Israel had during the time of David will return and nations will come under them again. Still, others, some of them still believe that God would descend upon this earth in a supernatural way to cause this to come to pass. Now some of the Jews like the zealots were extremists. They will fight the Romans uh, because they want to liberate the Israelites from the hands of the Romans. Yeah, so the average Israelite was expecting some deliverer. But as to who and when was the speculation? As chapter 1 from verse 4. I read 4 to 6. This was when Jesus was parting with the disciples. On one occasion, while he was still while he was eating with them he gave them this command do not leave jerusalem but wait for the gifts my father promised which you have heard me speak about now for john baptized with water but in few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now, so Jesus is talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the and the father they should wait for the promise of the father now let's listen to the disciple then they gathered around him and asked lord are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to israel now so they were expecting a deliverer and a restoration of their power in the kingdom so that they will no longer be under the rule of any nation so when jesus said you have power the spirit will come it's a hey is it time now for the liberation? Now, this thought was not just limited to the Jews, but to the Israelites. The Samaritans also were expecting the Messiah who will come and deliver them. Now, you know, some of us are going to be expecting the Messiah to come. John chapter 4 from verse 19. John chapter 4 from if you, don't 19, echo, yeah. if you don't echo, if you don't echo, said the woman said, "I can see that you are a prophet." Ora, me who say we you for? Our ancestors worshipped in this mountain, on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, be poor. So now, my dear, my can say Jerusalem. If I go, I say say was sorry. Now, listening to this Samaritan woman. I feel my entire Samaria nearby. The woman said, "I know that." I. The woman said, "I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us." So this woman was also expecting the Messiah to come. He Obama said, "Minimum." for the first time Jesus, 
Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. Now, Jesus say, Obana say, me a, me no reka say, me ne, no. Now, this I am he. Then the woman left everything and brought the whole of Samaria to Christ. Okay, Yesu, eh, can't you Obana say, me a, the Oshisha no, on any men, no. Obana, ja, bi, 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 a, won, yina, dimrika, kwa kachira Samaria, kroni, yina. Her simple message was this, I have found him. The one that our, our forebears spoke about, the Messiah, he's at Jacob's well. And because all of them were expecting the deliverer, they rushed out to go and see him. Obano ni mrike tuwa munu na semu nye nye me hunu no. Ni ya e janom anase yinye janom kano huwa semu do nene Messiah no. Me hunu o wo isak e subra no ho. Na wanyi na bo chi e di nechi. So, but in the midst of all these expectations, there were some few people that the, that were described as the quiet in the land. Okay. Now, so, okay. They had no dreams of violence. Okay. And the power of armies. And I say, Astrafodom. They believed in a life of constant prayer and quiet watchfulness until God should show up. One family, now, or you come, my war bomb by your air train, so in your me, a begin with. Yes, was a heart leaning on his word, and a heart pursuing God. One day, no, I come from a radiant one, air train, a boche. Simeon was. One of these faithful people. Papa, your friend is Simeon. No, kasa, no and the Bible says God has promised him that he will not die until he sees God's salvation, the Messiah. I trust him. say no. Nyami ashe nebo say onu. I just say the new who Messiah no. Now I want you to look at how God will promise an individual that you will not die until you see the Messiah. But say wa wa di tun se niya so she say o nyango pon be she obi bo se unu aje se weni unu. For you to know and understand that God is knowable and we can have a, a serious and an intimate relationship with Him. Me mo ati ase ni wa unse o nyango pon yo obi a obi tumi unu no no na obi tumi unu na nyia ayonko fasro unko. So when they brought the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, the little boy, to the temple. The Holy Spirit said, "My friend, it is time. Come, let me go and show you the Messiah." And the bra what the Christo eba a sorry day ni muwa no. Unkong kong kachre no say bra na mi kong kong chreo ene a jim kwa no abba a sorry day muwa. Scripture says, "Moved by the Spirit, Simeon went to the temple area, not into the sanctuary, because they didn't. The offering was not done in the sanctuary. Offering was done in the temple area, if you like the courts." And you trust them, they say, Um, Concrono, Eddie, no call, a sorry demo, and I say, Sia demo, Sabreno, now a baby, I will see a sorry down the mountains. So that is where he actually met Jesus. The one Casa and we see a Christo and his parents, and it now for taking him in his arms. Can you imagine that you just brought you your child, you're going to perform the normal rituals, and this old man comes and pick your boy. Now, Obaya, be do you know, and no diabo frano, a tonnes as wash, sa oko to bedding, na a cocrebia beduho, no a diabo frana tonnes as. And he uttered the memorable hymn now known as Nux Demetus. Now, Obomodia, sa obetu jum da devia, na wato a yetrimuse. Now, dismiss. Or say, Sabri, Jawako Aquine, Sovereign Law, Eurade, as you have promised, said your washer bono, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. I say, over to me, Jawako Aquine, I was some game. Look at human beings living with God. Why, Nipa, Oninyame, and Nante, and he says, The Lord, you can now dismiss me in peace. Now, let me die. That is, I can now die. He said, Dismiss me. Na, in o, peace. O, he doesn't have any fear of death. Yeah, no, I can't tell you that they say, Obetumia Jawaku Aquine, Asumbium, not just Obe Wunu Crown, or can't tell you that they say, Onjan Aquine was Umbium, Onsro, 
For my eyes have seen your salvation. Which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. A light for the revelation of the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Listen listening to the big one. The reason why I'm talking about come close. In the spirit and the church says come. See, come and taste that the Lord is good. This year we want to have an intimate relationship with God. God is knowable. So reposition your hands. Look at the old man Simeon and God. Now pay attention to this big one. I want it to be projected so that wherever you are, we'll read together. There is a mystery. There is a mysterious communication of divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet contemplative fellowship with God. I don't want us to rush from this. Because I want you to grab this one. That there is a mysterious communication of divine knowledge. Now look at Simeon and God. Divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet contemplative fellowship with God. There is, there is a mysterious communication there. You don't need any pastor to lay hands on you. You don't need a go-between because God can talk to you, can, can, can relate with you. And those who get so close with God, there's a mysterious communication of divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet, contemplative fellowship with God. When we talk about contemplative, we are talking about continued attention. Now let me confirm this statement with this counterpart story. Luke chapter 2. Look at Sempano Etimienu. Now this is about an old lady, Anna. From 36, please. There was also a prophet, Anna. And Anna or Hannah is the same name. So the Jews who say Hannah, and then now the Greek will say Anna. The daughter of Phenel, Phenel, of the tribe of Asher, she was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. Oye Fanuel ba o free aser ebusu yaku mu when yini na oware nikun oware nikunum ne maba brimu na nikunutina or ni nikunutina and free shia and song. And then was a widow until she was eighty four. Na oye ukunini a wedi beye in free shia ed your wakri and nine. She never left the temple but worship night and day fasting and praying na on pa asori fi ho da o de emwada ene mpa e bo sum o nyankopon adesan ene adechi there should be something nice about working with god you understand that somebody like this now her food she ate was fasting and praying and connecting with the spirit and she could she could be sustained in that kind of atmosphere to 84 years. Wow, Let's take this big one, verse 38. Coming up to them at that very moment, to them that is Joseph. Mary and the little child at that very moment she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. 
na bra worry to abo friendly di no o to aso inyimu edu asan watwe wa o se na don no aramu no ono so begina hobi e yi onyankopon aye saara na o kan ne ho asem kire won a worry twen o ji a worry be ji jerusalem no nyina spoke about the child he o kan abo friendly ho asem all those who were expecting that redemption e kire won a wo twen o ji no nyina old man old woman he akokura any abrewa walking in close fellowship with God. Oni o nyankopon enanti bom wa yo fo so ku. They know God. Ah ko si se ni o nim nyankopon. They understand this child. Na wati abofre yi ase. May I invite you? Me to safre o to walk in contemplative love and in the fear of God. Se oni o nyankopon mom enanti e wo o nyamisuro kwan so. It its benefits exceeds silver and gold. It is much more precious than rubies. There is nothing sweeter than that. Its generational inheritance. It, it, it is a generational inheritance, as you say, for those who discover it. Let us move to Psalm 25. Psalm 25. I know I'm talking to pastors. I'm talking to some of you who are elders. It is not enough to be a pastor. What is desired of you is to know God closely. Mujiri se mumubi ya yani muka se mumubi e ya asofuo ebinso e ya sorry mpeni fuo mume nuko anoyenso mumi yenchu kwa diya hodo. So Psalm 25, verse 12. Enyum edunu enum enyumu tumi enum. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. Oni pe biara osure urade no obetire no kwa a onfaso. So this is not limited to a so called prophet the way and you do for the uncle who then the relationship that god wants to have for us is whosoever will he says said in the last day whosoever wants to drink come and you will drink of the holy spirit freely okay. and your you know who then are those who fear the lord who then he will instruct them in the ways they should choose the bible is a general way but those who walk in contemplative fellowship with God, God will instruct them in the way they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity. You, you, you don't need anointing oil. You don't need a special uh, uh, pastor to lay hands on you. And their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. Now in this particular psalm, David envisions those who walk in contemplative fellowship and fear with God. David as those who enjoys God's best. This kind of a person who experience unmistakable guidance. Now God will show him the way they should choose. Unmistakable guidance. We bear needless pain. We carry uh, needless burdens. Because we don't walk closely with the master. Number two, this kind of a person will experience personal prosperity. He will enjoy abundant provision. Now this kind of a person will, will experience family security. His children will possess the land. See this kind of a person. 
will enjoy divine fellowship. He will be in the inner circles of friends to who God reveals his mind and ways in an intimate manner. How many of us want to be in the inner circles of of friends of God. Yeah. I just want you to lift your hand and begin to speak to God. Oh, oh how I love Jesus. Oh, oh how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Sing, oh, how I love oh, Jesus. Oh, because yes, he first last. His hand said, Oh, no, 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 I love to sing his words. It sounds like music in my ears. Jesus. That the church will come back to loving Jesus. See, the issue is not about money. It's not about the bigness of your car. It's not about teaching prosperity in church. The gospel itself brings prosperity. Now, Psalm 25, let's look at verse 14. Again. The Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. The people who fear him and walk in close fellowship him, God confines in those who fear him. When we say confine, we are talking about discussing private matters. See, see, God is knowable. And he wants to have fellowship with us. To the extent that he wants to discuss private matters with you. So God will want to discuss private matters with you. He wouldn't need a go-between. Psalm 103 verse 7. Psalm 103 verse 7. Shall we read together if you can ready go? He made his way No, I was I had a King James in my head. I was just quoting King James and reading NIV. Yes, yeah, so let's read the NIV read, ready to go. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. Now, now 
Na odena kwen e chire Mose na oma Israel for e hunu ni nyuma. So there are two people here, two yeah. groups. Enti ye woni pa fe nu waha. First group is one called Moses. Yo di kano e ye ni our friend Moses. Second group is all Israel. Mo e tosu mi enu no e ye Israel ni na. He made his ways known to Moses. Okay, odena kwen e chire Mose. For the rest of them, they saw his deeds. Mo a kano di e wo hunu ni nyuma. So much difference between the two. Okay, we and sunye dan temu ye pa. When he say God makes his ways known, it means that God makes his methods and his plans. His means of attaining things and his means of doing things or his direction, he made it known to one man called Moses. Because Unyankopon e dina kwa inchire obia na chese kwa ya ofasu ya diye ene kwa ya ofasu du ni bota ebi hono or the sad year no e chire se ni part. When we talk about this, ye kase inuma. We are talking about the end product. Ye kha asemne wiye ye. Today, the computer science will say the back end. And then, oh, can we have for quantum points? So, I answer the email. I have to say, I don't know. Yeah, what's up? So, there are certain people who are always looking at the deeds. Did you know that we are trying? I don't know. Say, baby, they just know the back end. Yeah, we we I don't know. We are here, keke. But there are some who are so close to God that they know His ways. Okay, if you know, so we are being Yamia, but we are not going. How he began his directions. Going on fast, so. Which of these groups will you want to belong to? Reposition your hand. I want to just throw light on why this, why Moses knows his ways and the others just know the back end. There's a lot about Moses in the Bible. Yeah. So interpreting him is not difficult. Exodus 33. From verse 7, please. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp, some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone, anyone, I mean anyone, inquiring of the Lord, anyone inquiring of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Now Moses Tafa and Tomadang and you could see and Srabino at tree at tree now of Reno in Shire and Tomadang. Now Biara or Shisha a Radino free a D a coach shy into Madanga a war in Srabino at tree no home. And whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose and stood at the entrance of their tents. Now you enter the tent, and then the rest of them will stand at the entrance of their own tents, watching. Okay, now say Moses free a call into Madan no one. Oh man, you know, sorry, sorry, could you need to want to Madan ano? Not just a Moses a Urasia into Madan no mono. No, be a rabbit in into Madan ano. I shake Moses said the NBC. Watching Moses until he entered the tent. I would you Moses was shano a tree tree could see say or shan into Madan no more. Don't see, oh knock, oh knock, oh, yeah. hey, we're in, we're in. Uh, as it's going, they just say, ah, there goes Moses, he's entered. But they will stand at the entrance of their tent, not the tent of meeting where the people meet with God. Now, so one day, we do not want to madaya no, and yon to madaya, we nyan kopon, any Moses, shia wonu, emu anu. But that tent was for everyone. Now, so, san to madaya no, na, to wa homo ubiya. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. Now say Moses shani and to Madano Mua Munkum Dumno Sani Bejina and to Madano Anno na Euradini Mose Kasa. Whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they all stood and worshipped each at the entrance of their tents. Now, Omanu nina hunu mununkum dumne se e jina entomadano anwa. Omanu nina sorry sorry. Na ubiara koto sorry. E wan entomadain ano. Then the Lord will speak to Moses face to face. Na e uradini Moses di infer nimu e kasa as one speaks to a friend. Se oniba anye ni yonko e kasa. That is how intimate God wants to be with us. Okay. Se inu nyanko po mpe se oni ye nchu mi fayonko. Face to face. Se yebe tu minu no abo mpunimu. Face to face. Yebe tu minu ne siya as one speaks to his friend. Se oniba anye ni yonko e kasa. Reposition your heart. Okay. Se wakuma ding. Reposition your heart. Fa wakuma jine ye pa. Because the Lord wants 
you to come closer. Then Moses will return to the camp. But his young age, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. No wonder he was the right choice, the person to replace him. Now, verse 12. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. And Moses said, I have been telling you, 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 I have Now, when we say, God says, I know you by name. It means that he's, he's talking about an intimate relationship that he has with Moses. Okay. Now, Moses is not alone. Verse 13. See, if Moses will enter the tent and God will speak face to face with him and the rest of them will stand at the entrance of their own tent, they wouldn't know the ways of God. Okay. They will only observe his deeds. But God is inviting you tonight to come for that intimate relationship so that you will know his ways. So that not just his teeth. Let us make time. Reposition your heart. Now when you go home, or you may want to continue and read Psalm 34. Just read from 7 to the end. But this is my prayer for you tonight. My prayer for you is in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5. May the Lord direct your heart into God's love and Christ's perseverance. My prayer for you and for everyone that is Hearing the sound of my voice. That may the Lord direct your heart into God's love and Christ's perseverance. May the Lord direct your heart into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Amen. Amen.